Me again. Hey everybody, welcome back to Bookish Days. I am right your Sunday on a Monday because I asked Leanne to switch with me and she did. So thank you so much, Leanne. Because I'm not going to have any internet connection this weekend because I'm going to be at a super, super awesome place this weekend that I will make a video about on my personal channel. So look out for that hopefully next week. But this week's topic is hardcovers versus paperbacks, the pros and cons. And I know my answer hands down. If you know me at all, you also know this answer for me. I am a hardcover person all the way. Guys, I honestly hate paperbacks. I just can't even with paperbacks. I'll go ahead and start with what I love about hardcovers. This is actually what I'm currently reading right now, but with a hardcover, I don't have to worry about this book getting damaged. Specifically the cover because yes there is a dust jacket but I always take off the dust jacket whenever I'm reading. But this is how I read books. Remember from my video yesterday I just read them like this and I don't have to worry about the uh, the cover curling up which is so disgusting to look at. And plus the spine cannot crease which is my main problem with paperbacks. Some don't and I am a very careful reader so it's not like I crease spines on purpose or even on accident because I'd rather not read a paperback at all. Now thankfully some paperbacks like Transparent which unfortunately only comes in paperback which makes me really sad because I was hoping that this book in particular would be in hardcover. It's very floppy as you can see and I can open it up and read every single word on the page and not crease the spine at all which is really cool but some paperbacks are not good i hate to say that but some of them are just not well made this is a copy of beastly by alex flynn see it's very stiff this is kind of like what uk paperbacks are and guys all my UK friends, I am so sorry. I would literally die if I lived in U in the UK because of this reason with just these paperbacks, which is so awful. And every time you have to open it up just to see every word on the page, you're creasing it. And I just hate that so much. Now, I have made the mistake of sometimes buying the paperback version of a first book if I don't have it because, like, let's say the covers got changed. And that's the only reason why I would ever buy a book in paperback is if the covers got changed. But I r regret that now. Like, every book that I've purchased in paperback because the covers got changed, I am so disappointed in myself because I wish I could go back and just buy the hardcover because I have told myself I hate cover changes. They are my least favorite thing in the whole entire world, guys. I hate them so much, but I've told myself that there is nothing that I can do about them, so I'm just going to have to get the hardcovers even if they don't match because I know that I would rather have hardcovers of books, not a matching set. Though I would much love a matching set in hardcover. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just a hardcover person all the way. In my opinion, they are so much better. Yes, they do cost more especially through retail but honestly I think that you're getting your money's worth with it I just I love hardcover so much all right guys so that's all for me this week here on bookish days which do you prefer hardcovers or paperbacks let me know in the comments because I would love to know and I will see you next Sunday happy reading